Welcome to Project Serum, where we are committed to helping you learn more about the foundations of decentralized finance and blockchain technology. Remember to click the subscribe button and turn on your notifications to follow us for all things DeFi and to learn more about Project Serum's faster, cheaper, more powerful decentralized exchange. This video is the second in a series that will cover the topic, what is a central limit order book or CLOB and how does a CLOB work? In this specific video, we're going to cover the history of CLOB and the definition of CLOB, which we'll cover in detail. In 2000, the Securities and Exchange Commission began to create a centralized limit order book that keeps track of limit orders on exchanges electronically. This electronic order tracking system automatically matches the execution of the best possible pair of orders in the system. Back then, the CLOB concept was opposed by securities companies because they were afraid of losing volume. Trade execution costs are lower when more market participants can compete for order flow versus when orders are routed to a limited number of market makers with potentially non-competitive quotes. Prior to computers, there was another way to trade. A request for quote is asking someone for a price on a product, service, or asset. It also refers to a process whereby an invitation for bid is sent across the market, prompting liquidity suppliers or, in other cases, stock buyers to submit their various bids. However, in the pre-computer era, traders had to make calls or go to meet people in person on the trading floor. Floor trading is where traders gathered at a physical exchange and went head-to-head -head bidding and predicting the next market price. People were split into pits on the trading floor. There, a trader could submit an RFQ, a written document that included data such as quantity and pricing information for each trade. On the other side, interested bidders could submit their bids to dedicated brokers in their pit. This broker was responsible for matching customers' buy and sell orders by shouting and hand signaling trading sessions. Thankfully, computers revolutionized trading, and this is where the central limit order book comes into play. A CLOB provides a trade execution model based on a transparent system that matches customer orders, also known as bids and offers, on a price time priority basis. A CLOB is one of the main models for most exchanges, specifically stock exchanges such as the New York Stock Exchange and Chicago Board of Trade. Today, this model is followed by a number of crypto exchanges, including FTX, Coinbase, Binance, and Kraken. Among other things, CLOBs essentially eliminate intermediaries during the trade activities and create a level ground where liquidity providers and traders can come together to bid, discover, and fulfill their orders. This method of exchange is much more efficient than its predecessors and has led to an immense amount of growth in financial markets over the last three decades. The CLOB trade model allows all users to trade with each other instead of using an intermediary dealer. Here, users can also see bid orders and their value in real time, ensuring complete transparency among traders. Specific primary concepts play out here to further bolster how the CLOB trade model works. One of these is what is described as an order book, which is essentially a database consisting of various orders from traders. Although most CLOB exchanges are characterized as centralized, running a decentralized CLOB exchange is possible. In this case, the exchange operator has minimal influence in the order matching process. In other words, by minimizing input in the matching order process, a CLOB exchange openly broadcasts submitted orders, leaving the market makers to fill in themselves. Essentially, a CLOB is a great way to execute a large number of smaller trades, generating data the entire market can use when pricing. Most exchanges around the world use a central limit order book. In a typical market, buyers and sellers must submit orders to a central limit order book, which collates all outstanding buy and sell orders. Outstanding offers to buy or sell are stored in a queue and filled in a priority sequence by price and time of entry. The principle of price time priority refers to how orders are prioritized for execution. Typically, orders are matched on a first in first out basis, FIFO meaning that time matters when placing an order with the same price as another order. Thanks for watching. In our next video, we'll take a look at how CLOB works 
and we'll see an example of a club in action. We hope you join us to learn more.